Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solutions. Today I am going to tell you about how to display records in a pop-up window in a Visual Force page. So first of all we will be going to create a Visual Force page and in that we will be going to display the records in the form of a link, a data link. And then when we click on that link it will display the detail of that specific record in a separate Visual Force page as a pop-up window. So that's the today, today's agenda. So first of all we'll be going to create a visual force to display all the records in our list or as a list and then display a pop-up window to display record details. So basically that's the scenario here. So as you can see here this is the first page here in which we'll be going to display all the records in the form of a list as a list and when we click on any specific list for example if I click on BSP Solutions INC or Dickinson PLC it will open the details in a separate page like a pop-up window. So this I would like to achieve using Visual Force pages through Visual Force and Apex programming. So let's see how to perform this and how to do this now, and in this we'll be going to use a little bit of scripting also a JavaScript also to know how to include or uh, JavaScript in Visual Force pages you can go through my existing videos or previous videos you can watch my previous videos how to use JavaScript in Visual Force pages so let's perform let's do this on a Visual Force page so first of all we have to open Salesforce so I have already logged in into my Salesforce and in Salesforce I logged in into sales sales I look for sales application and here I look for accounts and my requirement is when I click on accounts and I will be going to create a visual force page and in that visual force page all the listed accounts all the available accounts within all the records available within this account will be displayed in the form of a list like as we have as it is here like in the form of this list and when we click on this any of the record it will open a pop-up window and display the details of that account so for this we need to create a visual force page so if you know how to create a visual force page that is okay if you are not if you don't know how to create a visual force page you can go through my previous videos so I look I create apex slash and pop-up page So it will throw an error message, page, pop-up page does not exist, so we have to do a little bit customization, we need to go to settings because we are not in a development mode right now and uh, advanced user details, we have to check for this development mode, if we have to work on, if we need to, means if we want to create the visual force pages, we need to check this, make it enabled, so I click on edit and mark this development mode, save it and again try to create a visual force page so I create apex slash pop-up page so click on this link and a pop-up and now we'll be able to create a pop-up page so we, we can customize the code now in this we have to I will be going to customize the code so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to read the data and uh, display the data in the form of a visual force page so for this I need to create I need to use a standard controller so I'm going to use a standard controller here. So I write Apex and standard controller account because I want to read the data from account and for because we are reading the data so we use record setware ACCS then I use Apex colon page block then Apex colon page block table and this table will get the value from ACCS and we create a variable for this ACC and in this we create apex colon column column and header value is equal to actions 
or action let's say and in this let me copy this because I want to add a link here so apex colon output link output link and give title title is equal to view details in a pop-up window and after this output link and this column we would like to display other columns as well so I write apex colon column and value is equal to acc dot name copy paste it because I would like to add, display two more columns so acc dot name acc dot industry and acc dot type so all these are the fields available within the object account object then after this page block now uh, when we click so if I'll save it if I'll save this right now so what is missing column must be terminated so okay so, yeah so this must be terminated because we didn't so you can see here we have the this uh, we have column and we have to give the actions we, there is no action right now so we need to give actions and we can in output link I simply give details here details I'll save it so it will give a hyperlink and whenever I when I clicked on this detail if I clicked on this this detail is in front of account name Burlington Textile Corporation of America so it will open a pop-up window and in that pop-up window it will display the details of this specific account so because we have to call a pop-up window and to call a pop-up window I, we, I'm going to take the help of JavaScript so that's why I'm going to use a script over here or add a script in this script slash script create a function and function I you name is open pop-up and in bracket I pass the ID and then I create where new win is equal to so I create this and you can see here we have where new win is called to window dot open and this is a page dot pop up this is the name of the uh, another visual force page pop up page so basically what it will do it will open the page in a pop as a pop up and we are, go we are going to pass the ID ID of the current selected record or the on the DT when we clicked on this detail so it will pass the ID of this specific account name on in that pop up page and we have said we have done some specification like the height is 600 which is 650 left from left side it will be 100 top is 100 and resizable no and status equal to no and if the window is focused so it will get the focus else it will return false now we need to call this function so to call this function it will be calling means we can call this function use from within the output link so in output link I write I use the on click event and I write return open pop up that's the function name so we can copy paste as well so return open pop up and we have to pass the ID so I pop up and I write ACC dot ID so this will pass the current ID this will pass the current ID onto this over here and this ID will be passed on in the pop up page so when we save this it shows an error message that this page pop-up does not exist so we need to create this page as well so I click on create pop-up page and uh, so the pop-up page has created so we can open that pop-up page in a in a next in a new window so I you I click pop-up and enter it so if the page exists it will open that page this is the page in this page we have to do the customization and customization we have to do is so that's the customization I have done what I have done I've, again I have created a standard controller which will read the data from accounts I set the sidebar to false 
show the header is called to false and section header set the title is called to account and subtitle is called to account dot name so it will display the current account name and in it will it will display the detail section only the detail section and I set the related list equal to false so we'll save this and you can see it is displaying the account it is not displaying the account name any other thing because this pop-up page will be called from the pop-up this previous page so now when we clicked on this any of the detail either here or Dick in front of this in, on this detail in front of Dickinson PLC or edge communication it will display the pop-up it will open a pop-up window and it will display the detail of this specific account in that pop-up window so let's click on it and check it check it so as you can see when I clicked on this let's say I clicked on in front of the United Oil and Gas Corporation so when I clicked on this a pop-up window appears a new window appears and in that we have we got the details of this specific account United Oil and Gas Corporation so this is how we can display the details of a specific record into a visual force page and that visual force page we can display as a pop-up page while when we clicked on a record on the from another visual force page so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can come up with your questions you can visit our website www.bsptrainings.com for more interesting videos you can subscribe our youtube channel and you can look for youtube channel for more videos and till then have a nice day ahead goodbye